Okay, well, the Back to the Future uh, sub-seminar is finally done. <laughs> uh, I just clocked it. It's a little over 15 hours of total content, but we look at a total of five films. So part one looks at Back to the Future, part one. Part two, I believe, is still looking at part one. Um, then there's a part 2.5, shakes a little bit of break from the media analysis to, um, well, like I say here, to look at some broader ideas to do with pattern detection and synchronicity and all this stuff. Then we actually look at Interstate 60. So there's a whole bunch of business with that. This is just a tiny little interlude that doesn't have to do with anything. And then part four is looking at Back to the Future part two. Hello, everybody. It's this so one is quite this lengthy. It's four hours. I would, I would probably watch it in at least two sittings. <laughs> it's just a lot of information. And then finally, part five concludes it with an analysis of part three. The fifth film we look at is um, The Atomic Kid, which is looked at in the second video here, I believe. So anyway, all the links for that are below. Next thing we're doing is um, Hellraiser, which I just can't wait to dive into. But before that, there is going to be a little uh, transitional video similar to Initiation Redux, where we're actually going to look at some stuff to do with Radiohead and 9-11 Sync. And uh, also wrap up some other topics and look at a few other things that don't quite fit in anywhere else. Just as a kind of palate cleanser before we jump headfirst into another big collection of films. Because with Hellraiser, we're going to be looking at at least the first three, possibly the fourth film as well. And also looking at um, some other work by Anthony Hickok's Warlock Armageddon, for sure, we're going to be looking at. So anyway, all that's coming. And uh, thanks, everybody, for... Um, watching these videos and offering your very in interesting and considered thoughts on all this stuff. And uh, yeah, see you in the future. Bye.